Hi everyone, welcome to day 4 of my 100 days challenge. Today we will be solving one of the SQL question asked in Amazon interview. So let's see the question. So the question says, given a table employees, write a query to display the employee names along with their manager names. Now you can see in the table we have employee ID and we have employee name and we have manager ID. One thing you need to know that this manager IDs are also part of basically the same table. So basically they are also employed in the same table. So what we need to find out is basically based on this manager's ID, we need to find out what is the employee name is going to be and that is going to be the manager name. So I have already created the table and inserted this data to practice. So let's go to the PG admin 4 where I have created the table and inserted the data. So now you can see I have the same data which is employee ID, employee name and the manager ID. So what we need to find out is basically based on this manager's ID, we need to find out the manager's name but we do not have any other table, we only have one table which is called employees. So let's see how we can solve this question. Okay, so I'm going to basically first select the column that I need. Okay, which is going to be employee ID. What I need next, I need basically employee name, and next, I need basically this manager ID. Okay, so these are the three columns I need. Now we can do something called self join to basically solve this question. So let's say we have one more table. So let's say we have one more table with the same employee records. Now we can make a join between two tables so where we will have the same record in the second table as well. So I can go ahead and basically say that I can name this employee table as uh, E1 and I can see that I am getting this one from E1 and I am getting this employee name from E1 and I am getting this manager ID from E1. So till now I have simply has basically given an alias and I am just getting all this column from this E1 table. Okay. Now I can do a join. So I can do a inner join, okay, and I can basically join this employee table again with this basically table. So now I can do join like this. I can say employee s. Now the common column, the, both the table will have basically same, right? So if, if I have one more table here, now I can join this table based on this manager's ID and the employee ID in the second table because I need based on this manager's ID and employee ID and their name, okay? So I can say that. The join is going to be this manager ID which is from my first table the manager ID with the second table which is employer ID right because based on this manager's ID I will compare it with the employer ID and then I will return this employee name and I will say this name as a manager name. So I can go ahead and say on E1 okay so this is going to be like this E1 of not employee ID from the first table we will need the manager ID so E1 of basically manager id and uh, we need from e2 of basically employer id okay so let me show you in excel like what i am trying to do here okay now let's say i have the same table here you can see okay i have only one table so what i need to do is basically based on this manager's id i need to find the name here right i need to find the manager name here so manager name here what i need to find right now how do i find this manager name if you take this manager's id this is the employee id at the end right so we can take this manager's id and we can check in this employee id column like which employee has this manager id I mean, which employee has this employee id so this three we will see that this employee has basically this uh, three id which is going to be kate right so kate is going to be manager for this employee right similarly we will take this id let's say this one which is going to be uh, for kate so for kate the manager id is seven now we will check which employee has this employee id 7 because that is going to be the manager for Gil. So we can check that's going to be Gil. So Gil is basically the manager of Gil, right? So what we are doing basically, I can basically create one more table here just to demonstrate this. So I can say that I am trying to do a join between this table and this table based on this manager id and based on this employee id. Now why? Because see, I want to see like which which uh, employee has this employee ID, right? Because that is going to be the manager for John. So now if I see this, John has a manager ID which is three. So we will see which employee has this three as an employee ID. So that's going to be Kate, right? So Kate is going to be the manager for John. So I can get the result. If I just based on match like manager ID and employee ID, I will get the result which is called this uh, name, right? That's going to be Kate. Similarly, if I check for a step, uh, for Steve, this manager ID is 7. So we will check which employee has employee ID 7. That's Gil. So we will get basically Gil. Okay. So we are doing join between this manager ID from our first table 
with the second table the employee id now as both the table are same so that is the reason we call it self join okay now i can do the same in sql to basically show you how it's working so now i can see from the first table i am basically uh, joining based on this manager id in the second table with the employee id now this is very very important steps i have seen that people basically get confused with uh, this uh, you know this join concept here now you, you may think why don't i join manager id with manager id see if i do a join manager id and manager id that doesn't make any sense because here i am looking for uh, the the person name who has this manager id 3 now, if i if i join this 3 with this 3 at the end we will get nothing right we will get basically what we will get nothing because this 3 and this 3 they are the same we are looking for the same guy which, who has a 3 as an employee id so that means we will need to join this column with this column now this table is also in the same table we can call this table as e1 we can call this table as basically e2 okay so the join is going to be one of the column for which you are looking for a value so which is going to be this column and uh, we can join with another table with the employee id because see we are looking for this three in this column right not in this column because this column belong this column is the manager for this right so we are looking for manager details for this employee this employee manager id is three and this three is the employee id so we are looking in here okay little bit confusing but yeah once you do practice few questions it's going to be easy for you so this is fine now now what i need next is basically from the second table from the second table once i do the join i can get this employee id as well i can get this name as well right so just to show you I will get the employee ID as well from my second table, which is going to be e2 dot in ID, okay. And uh, I will also get sorry e2 dot employee name, okay. Now this is going to be from e2. Now if I run this query, this employee ID I'm getting basically from my second table, okay. And this is employee name I'm getting from my second table. So this employee name is going to be the manager. So let's run this query and let's see the result now you can see we do have the result now we are getting the employee id you can see three so based on the manager id and we are joining with the employee id with our second table now you can see i am getting employee manager id three i know that the manager id three is basically the employee id three so they are same because i am looking for the manager id three and then in the employee id column so three employee id belongs to A, right so we are getting the employee name so basically for this employee which is john and john id is one the john manager id is three so that means john manager is k right similarly if you check for k so k manager id is seven so the seven employee id goes to basically what Gil. okay now i can save this column as basically what i can save this column as manager name okay manager name so now if i just run this query it's going to basically give me a nice name which is going to be manager name on this column so let's wait now you can see we do have basically employee id employee name manager id based on this manager id we are joining with this employee id and we are getting the employee name but we have changed the name to this time manager name so this is how we are getting the result so this is how we have solved this question guys now if in case you want to practice the same question i'm going to add this data set and this basically table all this code in my github which you can find in the video descriptions and you can download the same and you can practice this question and uh, i have seen that this question is being asked most of the time so if you have any upcoming interview try to practice this one that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end and if you really like my content and if you really enjoy solving this uh, challenge question you can basically subscribe to my youtube channel you can also join my discord community where i post regularly and uh, you can also take your 100 days challenge and you can share your progress so you can check the link in the video descriptions bye bye take care see you tomorrow